Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, back with another informative and educational video. In today's video, we're going to discuss how to determine how much life insurance you really need. Uh, so I'm going to show you how we do this uh, with one of the two methods that I've used. And uh, this method that I'm going to show you is called the life method. Okay, L-I-F-E, the life method. L stands for loans, I is for income, uh, F is for final expenses, E is for education, specifically children's education. Uh, most parents would like to help their children with their education, right? Whether it's college, trade school, or whatever um, uh, post-secondary education that they want to uh, do. All right, so uh, let's discuss that. Loans. So, so we're go what we're going to do is we're going to add up everything that we owe, right? Because we do not want to leave our debts uh, to our family. Now, unfortunately... Uh, when you die, your debts don't die with you, right? And the reason why the, the, the system does that is that what would stop you from now knowing that you've you got one year to live and you go take out a loan? Like when you, take, when you go take out a loan, that's not one of the questions that's asked. Uh, are you going to die soon, right? <laughs> so if you know that you're going to die and you go take out a loan, and then you go get that money and you, you blow it and then you leave the debt. So this is why they have it set up where if you die, your debts uh, get transferred to your family member, right? So we don't want to leave that burden uh, on our family member and, and them taking on our responsibility, right? So you want to add up your loans, anything you owe, uh, owe and then income. What you want to do is you want to be able to replace your income because when you die, um, your income dies with you because you're no longer available uh, to earn that money. Uh, so your income dies with you. So you want to uh, be able to put that number in there and you're going to do it based on the number of years of your salary. Uh, maybe you want to have three years of your salary added in there. Maybe you want to have five years of your salary, of your yearly sal salary. Maybe you want to have 10 years. But you're going to put a number where you feel comfortable that you can have, uh, your family have that. This way they can have that money there to keep going until they're adjusted to living without your income. So that's where income comes in. Final expense, uh, very simple here. What it costs uh, for your funeral, everything associated with it whether that's 20,000, 25,000, 30,000, or and some people might have want to have a lavish funeral and might want to have a $100,000 funeral. So, uh, so um, whatever your funeral expenses would be, uh, that's, that's what you have there. And then your education, uh, children's education, uh, the average is about 20, for, for college specifically, uh, the average is about 25 a grand a year. So over four years, that's a hundred grand for each child. So, but again, uh, that's 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 personal. However, you want it. Maybe you want to um, have your children go to a less expensive. So you you work out that number. This is your number. You know, I can give you uh, an average or or um, what the norm is. But you work out your own number and decide what where that comes up. All right. So, so when you add up all that, right, uh, this, these are your liabilities, you know, you add up all that. Then you take whatever assets you have and take the value of it, right? So the value of the assets, uh, including any cash you have in, on hand or any investments, and you're going to subtract it uh, from the cost of all this, and then you're going to get the final number that you need, okay? So let's say... Let's just use an example. Let's say your, your average, your, your, your assets is 300K, all right? And when you add up all this, you, you 
one million. All right, so when you add up one million and you have 300K, so you subtract the 300K from the one million, you need 700K of protection, okay? So that's, that's, that's an example, right? Um, so that's how it will work. Now, this is pure protection, okay? This is pure protection. You could actually use a term insurance um, policy to do that if you're comfortable enough to know that all the other needs that you're going to have later on could be satisfied because your income went up, all right? So you might want to have this in a, in a particular uh, time period, whether it's a 20-year or 30-year, that gives you enough time where you feel that uh, just in case I die and, and my goals aren't accomplished yet, uh, I can have this protection in place uh, to cover me uh, should I die prematurely. So for, in terms of pure protection, a term could co cover that. But what about permanent solutions? What about um, your, 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 your long-term concerns? How do you, how do, you uh, do that? You account for that by, again, adding up your numbers. Okay, what, so what are, what are your long-term, what are your long-term, so, so let's say we needed 700K there, okay, um, to, to handle that. So what about your long-term concerns? What could they be? Um, uh, well, final expenses is one. Okay, I definitely move that for over to the, to the permanent because uh, you might die, uh, you could die early, but you're hoping that you live till a long time, right? So you, you want to die later on, right? As, as long, uh, live as long as you can. So final expenses is definitely a permanent uh, a solution, a permanent concern. Uh, what about estate planning? That's a permanent concern. What about... Um, Wealth transfer. That's a permanent concern, right? So you might want to get a permanent policy to, to address these concern and get a term policy to address that. Um, or, or, um, you start out with just the term and then later, at, you know, later you, 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 you do a, a, a permanent policy or you could start with both. Yeah. Either way you want to do it. Um, but at some point you're going to need a permanent solution as well. Uh, uh, a term policy is a temporary solution to handle your pure, pure protection, your pure death benefit. Right. Um, but again, uh, what about this? So you would have to do your calculation, and I would say um, people who have these concerns usually are working with a, a financial planner or their CPA or, or the attorney, and they decide what, what you know what what their estate planning is going to be, uh, you know how much they want to transfer uh, to, for for their wealth, how they're going to go ahead and transfer based on their assets that they have. So. So those will be worked out based on all that, right? So term is for temporary solution, and then the permanent is for permanent solutions, such as wealth transfer and all that. So you would, you again, so, so, so I showed you the, five me the, the life method to, to, um, to find out how much you need based on pure protection. Now this method, you would definitely for permanent solution, you definitely be working with a financial advisor uh, or your CPA, um, uh, you know, your attorney, to figure out um, how much life insurance you would need to take care of these permanent solutions. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you do have any questions, please feel free to comment. Um, I discuss uh, this and many more in my book, Get Your Life Together, uh, now available on Amazon. 
I'll have it in the description, the link where you can get your copy. Uh, but it, it covers uh, the basics of life insurance. So it gives you good education and also show you how you can utilize life insurance to build wealth long term. And you don't have to be wealthy to get started. Uh, it's strategies that wealthy people use, but uh, you uh, can use it with a little discipline and um, uh, starting from where you're at and over time build wealth. So uh, again, hopefully that was helpful. Um, make sure that if you like the video and you found it informative, you found it valuable, show me that by giving me a like, uh, share it with someone that you believe should know the information and uh, place a comment. Uh, and if you haven't already subscribed, go right ahead and subscribe. I'll be dropping a very educational video each week. Okay. Until next time. See you soon.